it's the great Canadian Raging Cajun coming back at you with another keto taste test. It's uh, May 30th in the nation's capital of Ottawa and it's pretty cool out. It's as cool as the 70s fawns. Anyway, we got a few things to try today. First off, last night for supper my wife made delicious ribs and she made a homemade keto friendly uh, sauce in which we're going to try today. And also, she also did a keto cheesecake with three different sauces. Now, all these are all these are keto sauces, which uh, we're going to try: maple syrup, raspberry, and blueberry, I believe. Yes. And we're going to try them now. One thing I want to say: a lot of the sugars used in these, first off, is the Swerve, and this is the brown sugar variety right here. And also, we have the uh, Swerve uh, icing sugar for a lot of the cooking. Now for uh, general cooking, we're using uh, Lacanto sweetener, and this is a uh, one to one, I believe. And uh, this is for most of the keto cooking needs. So give them a try. And I'm not a, I'm not a uh, paid uh, uh, actor or anything for these people. I don't work for them. I'm just saying uh, what we uh, what we use to make these delicious meals. You can find that available. at Costco. And you can find this at Costco, yes. Anyway, let's start off with the uh, ribs. Now, I've tasted the ribs. I haven't really tasted this yet. Um, the only time I tasted it was already baked on. So this is a whole different taste whatsoever. So here we go. We're just going to try that. And... Uh, We'll give it a little taste here. Mm. That's really good. For being a keto product, it's really an original tasting. Um, when I say original tasting, I mean something that you would find in a regular, uh, in, in, in a regular uh, sauce uh, style. Um, doesn't taste like it's uh, very sugar friendly and, and calorie friendly at all. Tastes really good. Anyway, that was good. Now, as we always do, again, I don't work for Tabasco. I wish I did, but I don't. But I like their product, so we're just gonna try it. Now, I have to say, yesterday, my wife accidentally took a little piece off my plate and she didn't know Tabasco. And three hours later, when she took her head out of the uh, out of the uh, water, <laughs> she uh, realized it gets a little toasty. Oh, mm. Mm. This reminds me of Bayou St. John in Louisiana. Having, uh, believe it or not, some uh, gator. Gator and hot sauce was great. This also is great. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so now we get on to the sweet portion of the show. Don't worry. So, uh, we're going to try our cheesecake. First off, I just want to try one piece all naked. That's fancy talk. So here we go. Very moist. It has that cheesy taste, which it's a you New York expect. style cheesecake. Um, New York style cheesecake, I've been told, and uh, very good, very good. Again, this this, you know, folks. Keto amazes me. You know, I grew up back in the 70s and early, early 80s where diet stuff was like tab. You know what I mean? And not, not that there's anything wrong with tab, but it just didn't have that taste. And when it did go for the sweet taste, it had this afterglow that uh, wasn't very, uh, very, very tasty because of the afterglow. But anyway, we learned to live with it. But now, there's a whole new world out there, and it's keto. I'm a believer. I mean, I never, I never was, but uh, now I am. 
So let's try the first one here. This is the uh, maple, syrup. maple syrup. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. And we're just going to try a little bit right here. I'm just going to put it on the side because I don't want it to flow everywhere here. So one piece. Yeah. I would say that's restaurant quality. If I was served this on, on a plate in a restaurant, I would just figure that it was done by one of the uh, one of the chefs, one of the bakers. I would not think this was keto. I score that a winner, definitely. <clears throat> so now, I just want to move this right here. We'll try. These might be a little hot. The raspberry. Not in spicy. <clears throat> So far, <clears throat> the two sauces, two winners. Again, restaurant quality, I would never know the difference. And I just wanna say one more thing before I continue. If you want the recipes for any of this, whether it be the uh, barbecue sauce or the sweet sauces for the cheesecake, just uh, in the comment section, just uh, give me your email address and um, let me know which one you're interested in, or if you're interested in them all, I will definitely email you a, a copy of the recipe. Also, not just for this video, but for the past ones too. Just leave a comment and uh, I'll do whatever I can to help you out. All right, that was that one, that's very good. Now we're in the blueberry, which is, uh, I love blueberries. There we go. a little more blueberry. Good. Not as sweet as the other two. This one, you can kind of tell, isn't the uh, regular blueberry sauce. It doesn't have that uh, sweetness kabang to it. It kind of is more subtle. And if that's what you like, then this is perfect for you. It's good. It just doesn't have that sweetie quality. Like my honey. Anyway, uh, there we go, that's, that's the blueberry. And when I said it didn't have that sweetie quality, I meant comparison, not that she's not sweet. She's very sweet, as sweet as these two. Anyway, so, the last taste test, as we know, of course, I'm gonna use this fork. We're just gonna take a little piece off here and we'll go with the regular Tabasco today. Cause I feel a little bite coming on. And there we are. sneaker oh no doesn't work well doesn't go with everything obviously but it was a good try very good try so again thank you for watching this video some water here. and uh, again if you want any of the recipes please uh, leave comments below with your email address and I will be happy to uh, send you the recipes. And uh, I appreciate you guys coming out. And hopefully, uh, we'll see. Here we go. We're trying the raspberry. We got a bit on here. Just going to take a piece off. 
And I just want to also add that if you're not comfortable leaving your email address, because some people, you know, have privacy issues, and that's fine. I uh, I really don't mind if uh, you just uh, use my email address at the bottom. You can email me, and uh, I'll email you back. And it's a uh, oh, someone's hungry. There's a lot of good food here today. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great week. And uh, again, like and subscribe if uh, you're enjoying this. And uh, we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Thank you. Bye-bye.